Greetings and salutations, folks. It's Josh, Slab Max Toy Stack. Um, you can call me Slab Mac if you'd like. Um, if you're new here, please like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you're not, hey, nice to see you again. Glad to have you back. So today we are going to discuss Zalbar from Knights of the Old Republic, the uh, gaming greats figure. Um, we're going to talk about him and also compare him to the original Chewbacca figure. Um, so, without further ado. Alrighty, so this uh, figure here, I got him at a nice discount at uh, GameStop. Uh, the, the flap was tore up. Um, so, you know, no mint and blacks collectors would want him. Um, but here's the uh, side view Zalbar. You alone determine the destiny of an entire galaxy in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, featuring an iconic Star Wars locations and original characters like Zalbar, a Wookiee who aids Revan in their quest. It's a pretty good, pretty fun game. Here's your gaming greats. Gaming greats on the front. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. They have the blue here for the uh, the gaming greats line. Um, I'm going to put this down a little bit. All right, we'll open this bad boy up. Yeah, I was a huge fan of uh, Knights of the Old Republic when this game came out. I literally played the game through at least three times because I played it through once. How I would typically play a game where I would just make decisions based on my attitude. Um, and uh, then then I ended up playing it through uh, completely dark side. Um, just going like as, being, as, as ham evil as I possibly could. And then I played it through in light side and did that. So... It was kind of fun. Um, it's a really fun game. Um, I can't remember if that was on PS2 or Xbox, or I'm not sure. But I um, heard that they're supposed to be coming out with a re-edit uh, re here pretty soon, which is exciting. So we'll start typical with the, um, the uh, accessories. And here we go. Let's see. Is this going this way or this way? Hmm. Can't see the little notch in there, unfortunately. Uh, there it is. There we go. Okay. So there's his bowcaster. Um, I don't. I don't even remember using a bowcaster with Zalbar, because typically, when I used him as a, a, a teammate or an ally on my team. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. I got to tell you, I like that these are the these are brass or. or bronze colored rather than being the way they were with the original the candles painted black um not as much overspray and this is the original but I'll, like i said I'll, I'll compare the two um at the end of the video so uh, because typically whenever i played zalbar he was a vibro swords dude he used vibro blades uh, let's straighten this bad boy out yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice uh, gold overlay, some gold paint here, gold handle paint. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this is. I believe this this is a pl red plastic with the me the the silver painted over it, so they can get a nice kind of gray shine to it. Pretty sweet. Um, as with ninety percent of all of our Star Wars figures, you got to kind of bend the stuff back into shape and you know it'll bounce back and we'll have to bend it again but that's pretty cool um i like this vibro sword pretty sweet this is i think this is literally the first time we've ever gotten a vibro sword in a star wars figure which is cool um vibro vibro swords are uh, in the stories can defend against lightsabers they can so so uh someone using a vibro sword could fight against a Jedi if they could keep up. Um, pretty sweet. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna take this bad boy out. So, here is Zalbar. Um, head, not much tilt, not much back and forth, but that's because of all of this, this fur lining, that's all. You know, he's got it in the back here. Um, nice, nice oversprays. Nice paint job here on the eyes. Nose is nice and black. Um, his face is a nice uh, calm resting position. I like that. Um, arms completely around. Uh, 
Ooh, yeah, hardly bend up. But again, that's because of like running into this. Um, do not go, the arms don't even go to 90. Um, so that's kind of an issue. A um, little bit of a crunch. A little bit of a hula hoop action, pretty cool. Um, fur overlay, that's pretty cool. Um, again, arm. There's the hands, hands move pretty good. Can go completely around. These are not pistol hands, but side to side hands. Thigh, thigh cut, turn the thigh th there, thigh cut, knees bend, almost 90. There's no way he's going all the way back. Um, feet have a Barely move back and forth, barely tilt. Yeah, I would say my beef with most of the Wookiee figures is that their their range of motion is awful. Um, they they typically don't um, move very well. Um, so here's uh, his belt. This this I'm sure is for holding the the gun because I don't think you can put the you could maybe put the sword like this, but that's kind of goofy. Um, but. I would probably use it to hold his bowcaster. Again, I don't remember ever even using the bowcaster in the game with with Zalbar because, as a character, like I said, he seemed to be more. He used he he was way better with uh, the uh, the vibro sword for sure, way better. Unfortunately, could make him a Jedi. Can we do two hands with this? Let's see. I'll put that there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's kind of difficult getting both hands on the on the sword. But I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's just see where we can get, go with this. Ah, there we go. There we go. And then you can. Now, can Zalbar stand up for himself? Yes, he can stand up for himself. Like most of the Wookiee figures, they do stand pretty well because they have these huge feet. That's pretty good. Um, I like the look of his face. I honestly wish they had... had they, may, they may have made a, a Chewbacca with this face, but I don't think so. But, like, I honestly wish this, this was my Chewbacca face rather than the one I have, and I'll show you. So this is my Chewbacca, the original Chewbacca, um, from the beginning of the Star Wars line. Bowcaster, I'm gonna take this off of here. Let's put him over here. Pull this off. I probably won't even display him with that bowcaster attached. Um, again, you can see they're they're the same. Same weapon. This one has better paint apps. Um, I actually prefer the, the the just sheer metal versus the the, the black hole, black handle. Um, that black overspray looks kind of goofy. It doesn't make much sense. Um, it would I would it would be much better if it was just the handle, but they went over with it. Um, but this one has a has a much nicer look because it's got the 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 black with the silver in here and it kind of has a nice overspray like a, like a, a nice uh nice wash i should say i'm sorry um and the these even even have like a they're gray but they have a, a little bit of a black wash on them you can see um like i said i, I do dig the the uh brass <laughs> his brass balls on this one um but uh yeah so there's there's comparing those those fellas um i'm gonna now Zalbar came with an extra extra piece of equipment. That's kind of cool. So let's compare these two. So the heads definitely different, completely different heads. Um, 
There's the roaring head for Chewbacca, the, the neutral head for Zalbar. I, I kind of wish that this was this was on my Chewbacca. Um, the color of them is totally different. I like that because we need different color Wookiees. We need different different um, Wookiees in the line. I like that. Um, the harness. He's got the uh, the the regular just uh, strap straps for holding his holding his uh, weapon on the back. Um, he does not have the clips that Chewie has, which also kind of doesn't really make sense because I believe that the clips were supposed to be for his bowcaster. Um, <clears throat> and if he doesn't have any, why does he have the bowcaster? He's got his bag. I like that. Um, but you can see they they did the they did the work here. The arms, those are just plain, just plain. They did the work on the chest here, a little bit here, different colors, but the legs, plain, all one color, all solid. No, does not look like it has any any uh, wash of the wash, wash at all on these. They painted the toes, um, but in here's got hand. The hands are painted, but. None of this plastic has any kind of wash on it. It's all the same color. The legs are the same way, all the same color. All one plastic, all the same paint job for the, uh, yeah, just the same, same like not, not even a paint job, just the same plastic, just, just that tan, lighter plastic. Now Chewbacca, on the other hand, Lots of wash. Wash here, dark, dark wash here, here, dark washes on his, his thighs, toes are different colors, hands are different colors. So, all in all, as far as the figure goes, he's, Zalbar's, he's pretty cool, but, um, they could have done a little bit more work with him, but then again, he does come with an extra accessory. So you win some, you lose some, I think, with these figures. Um, I do like the different head sculpts. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, I, I would like to see a black chrysanthemum, but if they're going to make a... I, I think for black chrysanthemum, he should be a physically larger, more imposing figure, in my opinion. Uh, maybe, maybe make him a little bit bigger. Um, thing I don't understand is, like, I, I feel like... Hasbro, um, they should have a little bit more communication between their multiple lines because they could use bits and pieces from some figures to other figures and things like that. Um, heck, they could, you know.